guys and welcome to today's video where we're going to go over tips and tricks on how to draw the perfect mermaid. Um, anyways, we're going to go over how to draw tails because it took me a year to learn how to draw the perfect mermaid and how to get that movement, that flow that you want in your mermaid. Um, so we're going to go over some tips and tricks. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from this part but hopefully. This is the mermaid uh, that I drew for today's tutorial. And we'll go over tails and everything to get that flow to them. Um, here is a sample of uh, tails that I could do. But it's just tips and tricks uh, basically um, to get you through mermaid, um, to draw the perfect mermaid. Um, so anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to throw in a quick tip right now before I get the tails. Um, for the tail, how many times can I say tail? Um, anyways, you want to do a little S, like this, kind of like an S, with your arm to get that flow. Um, once you nail it, your mermaid will come out really well. Um, just want that S shape um, for the curve. Now, I used to draw it like snakes, and that's not mermaid's tail. Think of swimming. Think of swimming in water or something. That's how I think of it. But anyways, we can start with the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue watching. Hey guys, and welcome to the next clip of uh, how to draw a mermaid. So you're going to need the following materials. Um, this is what you can also use around the house, or you don't have to necessarily have these. Dual to draw mermaid. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but you will also need a mechanical pencil. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mechanical pencil. Um, you'll need some markers. I'm using these Tombow. Well, this is not Tombow. This is Artist Loft. Um, Artist Loft. Um, Aqua L. Watercolor dual tip brush marker. So I'm using this one. I'm using also a tumbo brush pen, just a brush pen. Um, I'm using another brush pen and that by that's by Tumbo as well. Um, and then as for markers and coloring, I mean those that's for coloring too. And for inking, you don't need a ballpoint pen. Usually, I like to use a fountain pen, but for that matter, um, I'm out of ink, so I have to uh, get more. But uh, I am using potato brown over uh, hoop brush marker. I'm using Copic light orange for the skin tone. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, keep on watching. Um, we'll probably go over materials again shortly, but just wanted to have a break from the back. But anyway, keep on watching. Hey guys, and welcome to this part of the tutorial. Um, for the materials, I'm using Tombow brush pens and uh, Copic markers, no brush markers, and um, light blue, dark blue. So, uh, for the first thing, is I'm doing a sketch um, with the pencil, and I usually do the action line first and then build my mermaid off of that. Um, so yeah, not much else to say here except I start with the circle for the head and then uh, lay out my whole character first before I uh, do the details like the hair, eyes, nose, mouth, um, ATC, etc. Um, so here I'm doing the details of the eyes. Um, so you want to do the whole thing in pencil first and uh, yeah, so, so sorry for the shot of the hand, um, didn't think it would be in the way that much, but hopefully it's okay. We'll see, um, more in a second, um, of that. Um, here's the inking part of using a ballpoint pen. For this, if you hear any noise, so sorry, um, using a ballpoint pen. Um, so, yeah, I really don't have much to stay here. Except I'm making uh, the hair and everything, so uh, don't have much else to say here for throughout the video. But you guys get the general idea. Um, but again, you want to do the tails, and I'll go over the tails and I'm gonna take the next video um, to go over more details and stuff. But uh, yeah, get on with the 
uh, stick to the end of the video to get uh, more feedback on tails and yeah so keep on watching Hey guys, uh, for this part, uh, gonna the tools over there. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to draw the tails because the tails took me a year to learn. Um, but once I learned it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Um, but the tails are kind of like an S shape. If it'll focus, oh my goodness gracious. Um, sorry for the focusing, guys. Maybe we'll move that for there. But the S. Why is that? Okay. Maybe we'll stop. Okay, so for the S shape, um, you want to uh, start with an action line. So let's start with that. So we're going to start with the action line, and the S shape is like that. So I uh, want to go kind of like with the flow. A little bit. Um, so for the tail, so you want to bring it down a little bit, and then kind of curve it with the uh, the action line a little bit. So I'm doing a horrible job explaining, but you get the general idea. But you want to bring an S shape down like so, kind of like to. Uh, think of the word swimming, uh, like they're swimming in the water, that's how I picture it. Um, like I could do a whole video just on their tails, how you can uh, decorate the tails a little bit, and um, so, but this is what you want to do. Uh, it took me a year to learn, um, so here's one tail, I'm going to ink it. Um, think of, I guess, hair or something, but again, I'm not sure if I'm putting the right analogy, but I'm just going to ink it and want to kind of like, um, this is what, okay, let's finish inking this. You want confident long lines, and I did a video yesterday of how to get on our block and I talked about how to get those confident lines. Um, you want to use your whole arm. Um, and so what I mean by a shape, I'll show you in a second. Um, kind of like want to move your hand like this. I'll show you on the other camera. Um, so, anyway, we want to do it like confident and um, kind of like a little S shape, but you want to sketch lightly. Um, I'm just darkening over. Um, you, you want to do this S shape because it just helps with the movement and the flow uh, to your mermaid tail, and just I don't know, it's just something about it that. Um, try it another one, maybe from the side. So say she, um, or he, you want to do it like this. Um, so 
So, there we can, can you guys see that okay? I hope so. Uh, so, anyways. Um, you want to, always, I'm going off the paper here, but you always want to start wide at the top and then try to narrow down a little bit towards the bottom. Um, but this is just a mini tutorial within a tutorial of how to draw. And I've seen a lot of tutorials on mermaids and how to draw cute mermaids and some of them don't go over tails. Um, so I'm trying to in this tutorial so you guys can get the general idea. Um, so I'm trying to fix my mistake, but you want like you want something like this. Um, so try to do an arrow, but it's terrible. Um, you want it to come to a point. This is just an example. I just went off the paper because of um ran out of room, but. But what if you want to do a mermaid with a um, shorter tail? Uh, well, make it short. Same concept, but you should make it short. But I could do a whole video with this uh, over the tails, how to decorate them, how to make them uh, more flowy. Um, if this isn't flowy enough for you, um, kind of do something like that. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, I really don't have much else to say about the tails. Um, so this is just the beginning, like a basic concept of. Uh, you can put this into narwhal, you can put this into catfish um, concepts, because, you know, um, with this being in mind, this little concept thing here, um, the tails, it can open up a huge store for you, and you can draw mermaids however you want them. Now, I recommend you going to Pinterest, look at mermaid art, um, there's sketches on Instagram that I can follow. I have tons of drawings of mermaids on my Instagram, you know, you know, so right. So I think that's it for this mini tutorial. Within a tutorial on how to draw tails, um, again, um, this can be an entire different video on its own. Um, so yeah.